Often when a game goes for its we're going to be minimalistic and zen and relaxing version of itself, it calls itself art of something and then releases out with lots of beautiful pastel backgrounds, beautiful lighting effects with sunsets and moons, water shimmers, birds in the sky. Ah, so relaxing. And Art of Golf does exactly that, and it looks like the Alto Collection, but with golf. However, whilst it says it's relaxing, I don't think it is. I think it's maddening. (laughs) Because whoever's created the holes in this game has a sadistic streak. And props to them, because it made the game addictive. But there's some sadistic design in this game, and I'll explain why. This game is a golf game on a 2D plane, so it takes us right the way back to like retro 90s styles of golf games, where instead of having to flick an analog stick or rely on like three button press timing, this is all around meter placement. So firstly, you do the arc of where your shot's going to be using the keyboard or the analog stick or the D-pad, and then you'll adjust the power for your shot as well. And you can do that very, very simply, and then you just press a button and the shot takes place. This is crucial because Art of Golf is all around trying to work out what's the best parameters to get a shot into the cup. Because all of the courses after the first few are designed with that sadistic streak in mind. So the cup will be at the edge of a cliff. If you slightly go over, you'll fly off the edge. If you go under, you'll roll back down the hill to where you started. There'll also be lots of ditches for you to get stuck into that are difficult to get out of. There'll be dips in the uh, screen because each level is only a single screen. So if you fall off the screen, it's back to the beginning. It will also be things where you'll need to like dive across multiple tiny little islands. So real precise shots that go much more vertically up so that when you land you don't then bounce too far in any direction you just kind of bounce vertically they're quite often some of the most difficult challenges that you've got but there's 1500 holes here for you to have on a go and tackle across various different disciplines which i'll get into in a second and so whilst the game decides that it's or trying to market itself as relaxing I was screaming into the void more often than I dared to admit because I was just overshooting or undershooting and finding stuff rolling back to where I wanted. The flip side of that is because this game is all about meters and it automatically replenishes balls back at the teeing off point every time you do a shot, it's really quick to just go and then go again. So on the flip side of like being maddening and maddeningly addictive you've also got that quickness of speed so you don't like get too depressed for getting shots wrong too many times where it does become difficult particularly is in um, journey mode which is like a collection of courses that you just have to get to the end of you will quite often get more and more levels where you're having to hop from island to island to island and if you get one wrong then it's back to the beginning and that's frustrating because it's not like replacing you back at where your previous shot was so you just need to be aware of that as a gameplay trait. As I mentioned there's a journey mode which takes you through uh, various different things with the goal just to get to the end of the level and proceed to the next and that was quite cool although the difficulty really ramped up from about hole 35 onwards tournament mode is where you'll want to spend a lot of your time though because there's different themed tournaments based on the different backgrounds that you're in but they also have a par and if you get under par by x amount of shots you'll start to unlock stars stars then are how you unlock different ball customization so that you can adjust the colors but also put things on like smiley faces and stuff like that it also then unlocks the next set of holes whenever you complete a tournament too The real key for me, though, and the real kind of piece de resistance of Art of Golf was the different um, sport variations that it has, because it doesn't just do golf. It takes the different ball physics, which are really good in the golf variant, and then applies it to various other things. So there's disc golf, where it's like a frisbee, and you're trying to get it into the hanging basket. And surprisingly, that does really change up the game, because the physics are different, but also you're not aiming to just roll into a puck, you're having to go slightly high off the ground. There's foot golf, which just has a football instead of a golf ball. And because it has different physics, that works differently. You've also got American football. And the interesting one with this is that it's one shot to try and get the ball through the different um, gates on the goal. And because that's higher up, again, it makes you think differently about how you're going to go for each shot. Hockey is the total opposite because you're almost thinking of it being like archery but you're sliding an arrow into the goal because it's always down on the floor but the ice puck does really slide 
Um, and again, you've only got one shot to do it. So you're looking very differently at your trajectory. The other two really cool ones are bowling, where it puts various different bins, uh, pins, sorry, around the <laughs> um, level for you to try and hit in as least amount of bowling balls as possible. And because they, when one hits the other, it kind of flies off, you can use the physics of the bowling pins rolling around everywhere to try and knock over others, which was quite cool. And cub is a variant of bowling, but it's using giant bricks. So they kind of spin around and fly off on their axis. And because they're constantly spinning, depending on how that then hits the terrain, they can cause some really cool effects somewhere, a bit like a boom blocks game. <laughs> Talking of boom blocks and angry birds, I guess as well, there's also then mini game variants here too. So there are things like try and hit as many of the boxes and, and smash them up as possible with as least amount of balls as possible, like a a golf archery aiming game. There's also hitting archery targets that are spread around the level as well in as least amount of balls as possible. And variants of things like flags, um, which is very similar to bowling, but because the pins have more weight than flags, they just fly around everywhere. There's also a variant where you can go and play on the moon. All of these combined really make things feel unique and interesting and if you get bored of the golf side of things and frustrated the sports ones even though they do the same thing and the mini games too to be fair they feel vastly different because the physics are different the goal is slightly different and you have to think about the game slightly differently so it really gives a plethora of variety in a game that could have been really really one note and it totally isn't and big props to the developer for putting all of this in across the over 1500 holes my only concern with Art of Golf is that it's a single player experience and it, particularly because there's an emphasis on the party games and the other sports disciplines. This feels like it would work really well even with a pass and play local multiplayer mode because outside of just playing single player experience and seeing everything there is online leaderboards to try and capture some of your high scores but that doesn't feel nearly as competitive as having some mates alongside you and you're passing the controller around seeing who can get it in the hole as best as possible. Um, maybe some of that is negated slightly because once you've seen someone get the meters right the next person will be able to do so but yeah I feel like this would be a game that would absolutely shine with local multiplayer added in. But as it is I think this is a robust, fun, engaging and maddeningly addictive golf game. Relaxing uh -uh, not for me. <laughs> but that's no bad thing. Art of Golf, out on the 13th of November. Written review will be over on High Plane Games. Take care. Higher Plane Games is part of the Higher Plane Network, a completely independent media outlet supported by people like you. The goal is to create the best possible content that cultivates a richer indie scene for games as well as music and entertainment. To find out more and to get involved, visit patreon.com forward slash higherplane network. Your support makes all the difference, and in return you'll gain access to bonus content and downloads. Thank you for watching.